Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the freezer door gasket in a Kenmore refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a flat blade screwdriver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new freezer door gasket. The freezer door gasket provides the airtight seal, preventing warm air from getting into the compartment. A bad seal could cause higher than normal temperature inside the compartment, ice on the interior, and frozen airways between freezer and fresh food compartments, causing the temperature to increase above normal. If you are experiencing any of those problems, please check the gasket and replace it if needed. To get to the part, we need to open the freezer door. Now we're going to remove this basket. I'll lift the, the back up, turn it around, and remove it. We need to lift the freezer door off the uh, sliders. So there is a good chance that uh, your door will be attached to the slider in that point with the screw. It could be Phillips, could be Torque 15 or Torque 20. We don't have it, but you may have it. Uh, it will be one on each side. First, we're going to lift up the front end so that the side brackets will free. And then we're going to lift and slide the back. There are two hooks. And, uh, we're free now, and I can remove the door. Let's place the door assembly on the table so we can easily work on the gasket. I'm going to use a flat blade screwdriver to pry the old gasket out of the groove. I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to stick the screwdriver in the groove, pry it out. Then again, from this point, we can uh, Pull the gasket out completely. This is the old freezer door gasket next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. Before installing the new gasket, make sure that the groove in the area around is clean. So wipe it out. You can spray with the soap if it's real greasy. All right, so we're going to bring in a new gasket, place it around, and uh, we're going to install it with uh, this edge going into the groove. I'm going to place uh, corners first in, in pairs, like uh, uh, this one first. Press in hard. You will feel that the edge goes into the groove. And we're going to switch to the opposite corner. So we're going to install this corner now. Press that then. So we're going to continue pressing the gasket in into the groove. And we're going to move uh, to the opposite side. And we're going to start with this corner. Push it in. And we're going to push this one, this side in. And move to the last corner. All right, now we're going to. We can lift it off and install it into the fridge. So the door goes back on. First, we are placing that hooks in. Slowly lower down the door. And one. And second one. 
at this point, we're going to put the basket back in. Gonna slide it in, turn it, and the front goes first in, and slightly push the back. And now we can close the door. Plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.